Well, what we have today is um, West Indies goat curry. We're celebrating Slow Food Day here at Kamana Bay. It's a big celebration of Cayman's homegrown food scene. And the first part of the day is our farmer's market. So we've got our usual farmers out selling their homegrown produce, but we also have a lot of local restaurants participating, taking that homegrown produce and coming up with really creative, fresh, delicious dishes. So 12 restaurants out here today. Um, a lot of people showed up, and it seems like everyone's having a really great time. With a lentil and chickpea salad. Chef Sandy is from one of those 12 restaurants. You normally have to go to the West End to experience their food, but not today. It's big for us to utilize the local ingredients and local farmers and support the local community. I think it's very, very important. And plus, it's just so much better quality of the food. I got to steal away for a little while and try quite a few of the dishes. Um, they were all so good. It's amazing how creative the restaurants are with the local produce here and a lot of fish. I tried some local goat, which was delicious. Um, so belly's full and I'm very happy. <laughs> Thank you. And so was everyone else who showed up today. Not only are they tasting foods they might not normally have tried, they're also learning what Cayman's agricultural community has to offer. I just think it's great to show people what is available here in Cayman. I mean, we have so many local farmers on the island that are growing some great fresh produce, fishermen that are catching lots of fresh fish. Um, and I think it's just great to be able to see um, what, what is available. We're going to have lots of fun. We've got lots of stuff to do. One of the highlights of Slow Food Day is the culinary challenge, because this time it's not the adults. This cook-off is for the kids. Budding chefs ages four and up will test their culinary skills with a fun, interactive, and educational challenge. Slow food is the opposite of fast food. We have a culinary challenge. We've got some planting that we're going to be doing with the kids so they can learn a little bit about local agriculture and really understand the concept around farm to table and seat to plate. How are we doing? Everyone good there? Maureen Coven is an ambassador for Cayman Food Revolution. How loudly, what is it? An offshoot of the Jamie Oliver Food Revolution Foundation. The goal is to change the relationship they might some we and our children have with food. One of the best parts of it that I've learned, um, because I grew up in a kitchen and I grew up in a garden because we had to, so it wasn't, it wasn't one of those things that, you know, was, oh, it's the cool thing to do or let's do that. It's really what we had to do. Um, and so you have to use some of your ingredients. For me to see kids really start getting engaged with food and understanding where it comes from and really being open to eating things that are out of their comfort zone. We have to mix them up. Vegetables aren't necessarily their enemy. They may not like some of everything, but they will be very open to at least trying it. And it surprises me all the way from four years old up to 12 years old to see the kids um, really going with it and taking passion with it. The children are paired up. And then they have a mystery basket of ingredients that must be incorporated in the meal. Cucumber, tomatoes, chips, papaya, lettuce, and a little bit of carrot. They're using a combination of fresh and previously cooked items, and they're coming up with their own unique spin. We made an Asian salad, and we used papaya, cheese, herbs, noodles, and some vegetable chips. What was it like participating in this? It was a fun experience, and I really like doing it with my sister. Okay, here we go. Fun makes a difference. Tomatoes. There is no question that creativity is in full play here. And we're going to put cheese, avocado, and we're going to squish the croutons and the chips to put inside. Our young chefs are joined by two visiting celebrity chefs in Cayman for So Food Day. You know, I have a little boy and I'm very careful, or I try to be very careful, of what, uh, what I'm teaching him is good food. And good food is the food, generally, that you can see where it came from, you know who grew it, and that food has a connection to your community, uh, to your family, and it's something that um, you, ha you, know, you have a connection to. So you can see where the food came from, you know it's healthy, you know it's local. Those are the foods that are really good to eat. And learning how to cook those foods, I think, brings so much more enjoyment to having dinner and eating with your family. Let's try to decorate. Mike Letta isn't just an award-winning chef. As you heard, he's also a parent. That's another wonderful dish. And he is loving the opportunity to spread the word about his passion for, quote, real food. My favorite part about this dish chefs. is how pretty you made it. It's fantastic. And when I see all these bright faces, it seems like a lot of kids connect with, with food. And um, they all really want to, you know, learn a little bit more. 
and in his view, knowing where our food comes from matters. We love to really bring everybody together, not just at the table for dinner, but the people that grow the vegetables, catch the fish, a very important part of our community. Without these people, we kind of lose our identity a little bit, right? It's, it's, it's who we are. So I think in many ways it's important that everybody learns that uh, we need to protect and, and celebrate these things. Everyone say slow food. 